The PASCO rotary motion sensor is a versatile position and motion measuring device. It has a resolution of 0.09 degrees and can measure angular position, velocity, and acceleration, as well as linear position, velocity, and acceleration. The sensor has a maximum measured speed of 30 revolutions per second and is sensitive to the direction of motion. Arrows on the outside of the case indicate which is the default positive direction. The sensor comes with a removable three-step pulley that can be attached to either end of the sensor's axle. The pulley can be placed large diameter down or large diameter up. When mounting the pulley, be careful to align the tab on the inside of the pulley to the notch on the outside of the axle. It's important to note that the sensor needs no software configuration when making angular measurements. However, when making linear measurements, using the three-step pulley on the rotary motion sensor, your software must be configured to match the groove on the pulley that you're using. Every rotary motion sensor comes with an adjustable rod clamp that fits rods up to 12.7 millimeters in diameter and can be attached to the sensor in three different locations, at the end opposite to the cable and on either side of the case. To adjust the rod clamp, use the Allen wrench stored in the back of the sensor case to loosen the two screws that hold the clamp on the sensor. Move the rod clamp to any of the additional mounting positions and use the wrench to tighten the screws in place. Using the rod clamp, the rotary motion sensor can be mounted horizontally on a support rod with the three-step pulley facing up or facing sideways. The sensor can also be mounted vertically with the pulley facing forward using an additional rod and right angle clamp. At the bottom of every rotary motion sensor is a platform designed for mounting a PASCO super pulley with table clamp. To mount the clamp, move the cord to the side and attach the pulley using the thumb screw on the clamp. The rotary motion sensor can be used with several different PASCO apparatuses, including the PASCO mini rotation accessory and the linear motion accessory rack found on the PASCO Basic Optics linear translator. To mount the rod of the mini rotational accessory to the rotary motion sensor, orient the three-step pulley so that the large diameter step is away from the sensor case. Behind the large diameter step are two pair of rod guides opposing each other on the top edge. Align the rod with the rod guides and use the thumb screw in the center of the rod to attach it to the sensor's axle. Attach the center of the rod to the sensor's axle to investigate rotational inertia. Attach the end of the rod to the sensor's axle to investigate pendulum and oscillatory motion. To use the rotary motion sensor with the linear motion accessory rack found on the PASCO Basic Optics Linear Translator, remove the rack from the linear translator and slide the sensor over it using the T-slot on the side of the sensor. The gear teeth on the rack should mesh with the gear teeth on the optical code wheel inside the sensor. When done, replace the rack and sensor onto the linear translator. After configuring your software to make measurements using the rack and pinion setting, the rotary motion sensor can now accurately measure translational motion in the direction of the linear motion accessory rack.